I'm not too sure how well this is going to come out. I've got received this package in the mail or on the from Amazon, and the first time I got one, it was bent. So I had to go back to and return it. And they give you an option. You can go to a uh, department store called Kohl's in our area, and they have a they have a desk where you can take things back from Amazon there. And I went there, and took it back, and they gave me a replacement, which is this. I'm just going to. Um, open the box on camera so you see it's sealed here okay see that tape on there well maybe the lighting is poor in here I'm sorry about the lighting it's not a professional studio but it's just the room in my house that I can use to make recordings in so it has this tape on it I'm gonna bring the lights over here well maybe you can see it better when I hold it out so it has that, it has a tape, see on the end, sealed in the container. And I'm going to open it up. See, I'm opening the box with the knife, it's sealed. Well, it has packaging material. But that wasn't the problem, the problem is this was bent. And it looks like it might be bent again because the box was a little bit crushed. So whoever shipped it didn't know that it was something that has to be straight. So this looks actually, <laughs> this actually looks like it's straight. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm fortunate. What I needed it for was to, um, to lock my filing cabinet here. So because, yeah, it is bent, actually. No. Yeah, that's straight. So they did it. They did me good this time around. It came, comes with a drill bit. So what I'll be doing is, um, what I'll be doing is putting it on the side of the filing cabinet there. It's a dirty filing cabinet. It's been st in storage for a long time. But it's just a way to keep the keep my papers private. So if somebody comes into my house and I don't know who they are and they can't they can't snoop through my my papers or whatever. Um, this is part of my DVD collection that I have. A lot of some of it's educational. And then there's some books. My, me, my wife and I collect books, so we have a lot of books from <clears throat> thrift stores or garage sales or just books we were, that I went to school with, the textbooks I had in college, high school and college. Um, over here is a video library. These are, um, they, we have a VCR that'll play them, so I don't, you know, I can repair. I have two more of the same model that, that can be repaired. These are audio books that I've put on DVD. I put them on MP3. I'm sorry. I use this. <coughs> it's auto reverse and it transferred it over to a software um, that enabled me to make it can encode it in MP3. So that's most of these are have been put into MP3 format. Yeah, and uh, the question I have is okay I made I made I made a video about my investments and back in 1999 I bought some stock in this company called um, uh, US plastic lumber and um, they sent me a um, an annual report or a quarterly report here you can read that but they're they the company the plans of the company were to take the the plastic from the recycling and turn it into um, building materials lumber so that's the name of the company US Plastic Lumber Corp yeah this is their annual report so they sent it to me when I bought stock and I had about I think I had a hundred shares in them uh, it was a good idea I thought wow this is really makes sense you take that plastic out of the landfill and you reconstitute it into into building material 
and sell it for for lumber for like decks and porches and then they're using it for um, bridges structural and then this is what I've seen mostly from the use of the recycled plastic now they had one um, idea was to use it to make um, railroad ties out of the recycled plastic and unfortunately I, I lost money in this company when I sold it and I never bought it back so I didn't I didn't play play around with the stock it's just 